everybody, Billy from Mutation Creation. Today we're gonna have a little bit of a different video. No egg cutting, but I'm gonna show you um, ones that I have cut and what I do to sort of prep it for the next step of them coming out of the egg on their own and shedding uh, and stuff like that. I got a couple uh, boxes to unbox today. Uh, one is sort of a surprise. It's not a snake, it's something else, but this is some snakes, so that's exciting. And I'm also gonna show you right now, come over here, I'm really excited about this pairing. Um, this is a spot nose yellow belly heck clown bred to an enchy asphalt heck clown. So here, my main goal is to hit a freeway clown, but a spot nose freeway clown, an enchy freeway clown, or even the spot nose enchy freeway clown, um, I don't even know what they're gonna look like. Um, yeah, I'm excited about it because I, I missed last year. I really wanna hit a freeway clown. I've got five chances this year. Uh, one's already in the incubator. This is clutch number two, actually. Two are already in the incubator. This is my third out of five. So, you know, it's getting close because I really want to hit these. I missed last year. I want to see what a freeway clown looks like because the highway clowns I've seen from Justin and some other people, amazing. So, I'm excited. It's something I, I ho was hoping to hit last year, but I'm gonna just take a quick peek. There she is sitting on eggs. And I'm just gonna sort of pick her up a little bit. And uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nice big eggs. This is her first year breeding. This is an awesome animal I picked up in 2016 as a hatchling from Justin. So I'm excited and uh, can't wait for that. But hopefully I get to see what a freeway clown looks like in one of the other two clutches that are already in the incubator. Speaking about the incubators. I'm having my record year this year. Last year I had 127 clutches for the whole year. Okay, for my whole breeding season of 2018, 127 clutches. I have that one I just showed you, plus another female. So when they go in there, I have 99, <laughs> 99 clutches at once. Like, wow, 99 clutches at once. Um, crazy. So when I say there's a lot of egg cutting videos, there's a lot of egg cutting videos. If I just do two at two, two at a time, that's like 50 videos. If I do three, that's what? Like, where's my math? Like 33? That's cra crazy. So if you guys get bored with egg cutting, you're gonna get bored because I'm gonna have lots of it. I'm gonna keep throwing it out at you. But 99, by the time I put them away today, I'm gonna have 99 clutches in the incubator. But some of them have been cut that I've already showed you I'm waiting, but even with the ones that are cut, I, I still have like 80 or so, 80 clutches that I haven't cut yet. So, and I still got more. I'm pairing um, over here. I'll show you. This is pretty cool too. This is my system knowing that there's a male in. This is a super fly, which is a super pastel fire, leopard double heck clown pied. Breeding to a clown pied. That's a nice lock. So this is gonna be awesome. So I'm still breeding, still pairing, but this is gonna be a, an awesome clutch. Um, I'm gonna hit, everything's gonna be pastel. I can hit a pastel fired leopard clown. Like, you know, I, I got the odds with this one, but I'm also breeding some other stuff, a pastel clown het pied to the same male. Um, and then I also have the pastel leopard clown het pied bred to a lavender clown het pied. So really cool stuff, I'm excited. I love my clown pied stuff. I'm just gonna go here for a second and I'm gonna take this clutch out and I'm gonna show you how I sort of prep this um, after I cut it a few days later. So this was the pewter clown. Um, I cut this one uh, I think Friday before I left, Thursday or Friday before I left for the uh, WCRE. Um, let's see, pewter clown to the pastel leopard ivory het clown. So as you see, one's already out on its own. Okay, I'm gonna throw that out. Now, I'll just show her off or him off, I haven't even checked. So this is a pastel leopard Yellow belly clown. Came from an ivory. Really awesome, nice, beautiful stripe. 
awesome. So see how these ones I've cut open? I figured ah, when I was cutting them, I'm like, ah, you know what? Let me just show everybody what I do. So I sort of take these and I'm just gonna put it over here. And what I do is I just, because the, the veins are off the wall and I just open it up a little more to give it a little bit bigger of a window. So after I cut that, that, that sorry, after I cut that initial um, slit, I open these up a little more. So I don't do this when I first cut them. I make that nice little slit and then I open them up a little bit more. And then if you notice on the wall, all the veins are gone, it's out of the sack, but I still don't pull them out yet. Just gonna open this up a little bit more. And this is what I do. You don't have to do it. You don't even have to cut. It, it's totally up to you. But I do not suggest, <clears throat> excuse me, if you're cutting your eggs <clears throat> to do this the very first time you cut. Make a little slit, leave them alone, let them come out on um, uh, of that sack. And then you can open it up a little more. Notice how there's no blood vessels or anything on the sides anymore but I'm still not gonna yank the animal out. I just open it up a little more. Now, if I wanna take pictures for Instagram or anything like that, it's a bigger window. I'm not, uh, you know, trying to, you know, fiddle with it with the veins running over. They'll come out on their own probably later today or tomorrow. But I just wanted to show, you know, how I open it up like this, three or four or even five days after that initial cut when I don't see any veins or membrane on the egg. So that's what I do. I've always done it. I wouldn't say always, but probably a good seven or eight years. Um, doesn't necessarily mean you have to. It's just something I wanna I want show everybody what I do. Take it or leave it. But uh, I, I don't want people to cut their eggs the first time and make a window like that, you know? If you wanna do it my way, or I've seen some other people use a razor blade and open up a flap and keep it, Awesome, but don't be sitting there your very first time cutting and hacking a big window, how we call it, a big window like, like I just did there on your very first cut. So I'm gonna put these back in. Excited about them coming out. Looks like I have another pastel leopard uh, yellow belly clown in there also. Could be super, could it be super? What's the pairing? I'm going, hold on a second. Before I say something I'm going to regret. Yeah, pewter clown to pastel leopard ivory het clown. So there is a, a chance that that other animal could even be a super pastel leopard yellow belly clown. So when it comes out, I'll take a look at the head. That's the best giveaway for super pastel and clown is the head. So that's that. Now, 99 clutches. Hold on a second. 99 clutches at once my record man it's it's wow thank god i have another incubator oh 99 that's that's crazy wow 99 clutches the great one hey wayne gretzky 99. so here we have cold bloods so this is cool look at this Oh, this is pretty cool. Well, I gotta start doing stuff like this, man. This is awesome. Justin and other people, like this, this is like cool. I mean, I don't know what's in the box yet, but I mean, this is pretty cool. Got a cool little picture. Looks like a cinnamon yellow belly or, I don't even wanna get this wrong. I mean, it could even be a number of things, but you know, cinnamon or black pastel yellow belly. I don't know, but it's awesome. But, oh, here, oh. Here's the picture, see this? This is cool, so I'm guessing. So it looks like I got, uh, I only got one of them right, the black pastel. I'll tell you what else is in this, um, but really cool pick. And it says, hey Billy, thanks for the quick input on the ARS racks and tubs. Love the snakes and videos and energy you bring to our hobby industry. Oh man, thanks. And it says, thanks Cold Blood, sorry, Colorado Cold Bloods. And uh, thanks guys, man, that's, that's awesome. I mean, this is really cool um, picture. Um, black pastel trick harlequin mahogany so not even yellow belly come on billy i'm a yellow belly guy what 
I, I'm telling you guys, I'm losing it. You know, I'm not as sharp as I was. That's why I've got guys like Austin and other people on staff that, you know, that are there to pick me up when I fall. And I'm going to be falling quite a bit, as you can see. Wow, but that's an awesome animal. So once again, Black Pastel, which is the only one I got correct, Trick Harlequin Mahogany. So Colorado Cold Bloods, thanks, that's awesome. And, and you know, people are asking me how I can look at an animal and I mean, I can definitely see cinnamon or black pastel. I was thinking yellow belly because the way it's flared and it breaks up the pattern. But there's so many other genes that could be involved, obviously like this one, that, you know, oh, it's not yellow belly, okay. You know, there's so many different combinations we could do that do some sometimes similar things or with others. So, you know, I've been doing this a long time. That fooled me. Awesome animal though, pretty great. Um, I'm actually working with some trick. I'm actually working with Harlequin and Mahogany, just not all in one animal. I got little bits and pieces of it, but you know, now I know sort of what I can do with it, which is awesome. Um, and uh, thanks for that, man. That's really awesome. You know, really cool. And then I got some sticker. So that's gonna go up, 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 and bam, it's gonna go on my sticker. Keep sending them in, I love them. Pretty cool business card we got here as well. And like I said, this is a surprise. This is awesome. I mean, really cool, really cool logo. Is that an eye? Yeah, man, see, really cool logo. And then here, see, this is really awesome. So this is good for promotion. I mean, this is really cool. Nice, nicely packed. This is really, really great. I, I need to step my game up like you guys, you know. Um, business card or the logo. Follow them on Facebook, Instagram, on the web. Has all their info really good because you know I can take this and you know go to each and and, and basically start following them and like their pages and I mean it's, it's really good to get people you know just self-marketing this is awesome really good idea hope you don't mind you know maybe I'll be having some mutation creation ones like this great idea so now let's see oh wait, hold on a second no it's not a snake there's no cardboard I thought maybe you were gonna send me this that'd be awesome but nope didn't say live animal, but you know, I guess that's the closest I'm gonna get to this beauty right now is, is this, but thank you anyways. So let's see what we got. What are you sending me that's so delicate? And... Oh, here we go. Okay, so that's it. So I'm gonna put this in here, get this out of the way. Okay, I see a shirt. It's gotta be something more than a shirt, because I mean, bubble wrapping a shirt. But it's a nice shirt, so I can see why you wanna protect it. Take a peek at that, that's awesome. So, that's the back. That's the front. Awesome. You'll be seeing me wearing this in another video, down the line. Now this, Let's see. The way it's wrapped, there's gotta be something fragile or breakable. Oh, there we go. Look at this, man. Next level, here we go. It's like a glass with your logo on it. Like, man, you know, even the, see, I'm, I'm, I'm slacking, guys. Like, look at this. Professional, like, picks, you know. Wow, man, I gotta step up my game. Like, this is cool. So every time I'm gonna leave this here and I'm gonna use it. So every time I go get my juice, I'm gonna drink out of it. Like it's always gonna be in my face. Really good idea, guys. That's awesome. I appreciate this. Thanks, guys. So huge shout out to Colorado Cold Bloods, man. Super awesome. They're gonna have you know, like I said, sticker up there. Real cool surprise. I really appreciate it, and uh, I, I appreciate the kind words. I, I, I really try. I love what I do. Um, you know, if I didn't, I wouldn't be the size. I wouldn't put as much time in and, and you know, I continue to want to grow and learn and, and, and teach and help people and inspire people. And if, if I'm, you know, obviously I'm doing a decent job or a good job and that's good. I want to even do it better. Um, thanks for the love man, and the comments that keep coming in on my videos. I love them. And, uh, 
you know, I'm, I'm trying. I'm, I'm trying to teach people, and uh, if I can inspire them and teach, and 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 you know, grow my passion every day. I mean, what else can I ask for? I Man, that's the best. And then hatching out amazing stuff. 99 clutches. Man. 99 clutches. Holy moly. You know, I, I'm you know I'm probably gonna stay even later tonight, just to get a hundred. You know, please lay, please lay. Maybe I'll massage their back or something. <laughs> I'm just teasing. Oh. You know, 99 clutches, that's crazy. So, here we go. Now, I know in this shipment, I also uh, help somebody else uh, bring some animals in. So I'm gonna take a quick peek first because they're not all mine. And uh, so, let's see. Let's see. That one's mine. This one's mine. Wow, I'd like to show you the other two, but they're not mine. I wish they were. Wow. I met the uh, gentleman um, at the uh, at the expo on the weekend in Red Deer, Alberta. Um, he, I didn't even know he was going. I did him the favor before and uh, he shows up and goes, hey man, you gotta get my animals this week. I'm like, oh my God, I didn't know you were here. So he came in, um, they'll be going out to him uh, later this week or early next week. But uh, yeah, I wish I could show you, but I can't. So it's gonna be cool because hopefully he does an unboxing video so we can watch, but I sort of get, uh, I guess that's the benefit. I get to help someone out and see some cool animals and they're nice, just trust me on it. But I'm gonna put this back for now. Don't mean to tease you or anything, but maybe I should have asked them permission first. I didn't even think, but... And, oh, talking about not even thinking, I go pick up Lord of Lion, who's holding the camera, and, uh... <laughs> and, uh, I'm like, oh yeah, by the way, when we get to the facility, let's do this, let's do that, I gotta go pick up these animals quick. You know, they were left for me at uh, one of the other businesses downstairs, and, uh, you know, we'll get this and we'll get that and do that. And he's like, well, why don't we do an unboxing video? Yeah, man, like that would make sense, wouldn't it? I didn't even think of it. So, you know, so I said, I need like Austin, Chris, and, and Nick, and the guys, and T Tyler, and, and, and Lord of Lion. You know, you're gonna have to start picking me up when I'm falling. And they're already giving, I'm getting snakes from the US. Wait till you see them. Not, not a lot, just a couple. You know, ones that I saw that I really like. And they have to tell me to do an unboxing video. So, you know, you know, I'm getting old, man. You know, but here we go. So, this one here this is an orange dream het clown female this is from breeder circle so really awesome I think there may be something else going on with her I'll be trying to prove it out but just awesome I have an OD clown that I bought from Phil Robinson a few years ago that uh, she's already laid. And, and that's it for OD clown, except for, once again, Phil Robinson from Robinson's Royal Ball Pythons. I, oh, Robinson's Royals. Sorry, Phil, I don't, don't mean to mix that up, but Phil Robinson, man, you don't even need to say everything else. Phil Robinson, out of Edmonton, Alberta. Um, I also, the only other OD is the Pastel Super OD clown male that I've got from him a few years back also, who's been breeding and, and a champ. So this will be my third OD sort of clown combo. Not really a combo, but you know, OD into clown for some future projects. And if I think what's going on with this pans out, then you know, I'll be uh, even more happier, but just an awesome example. Can never get enough of OD. Ozzy, you, you got us all hooked. The stuff that you're posting and pied and clown and Odie just works with everything, you know? Just works with everything. Now, this one here is really cool looking. And to tell you the truth off the top of my head, I don't even know all what's in it. So I'm gonna have to, I don't even know all what's in it. I bought it, I saw, I know some of the stuff. That's how busy I've been. 
So, this one here, Brad Boa. He posted it up, I saw it, and I'm like, oh my god. And Het Clown, send her over. I needed it. Look at this thing. What? I'm like, this thing is unreal. I'm gonna try, I'm probably wrong, but I know, uh, I think it is Butter Leopard, Yellow Belly, Enchi, something else. I think it's a five gene heck clown female. Coming to say hi, but like, wow, look at the striping on the neck. Like, look at the head. Like, it's just nuts. Look at the color. I'll have to find out exactly what it is. I'm sorry, but it was just, you know, after three or four jeans, I'm just like, okay, it's just awesome looking. Um, stunning. Thank you, Brad. So awesome. Another stunner just every time I open that rack and see uh, see it grow, see it shed, see it poop, see it see it eat. It's, it's just going to excite me and excite me. And uh, if it holds, you know, even, you know, a third of its color, it's going to be... Uh, look at the flaming up the sides. This thing's... Look at the stripe on the neck. It's just... Wow. Let's see what the belly looks like. Just clear. But look at this thing. Stunning. So... Thanks both to uh, Breeder Circle and Brad Boa. Two more holdbacks. Um, super excited. I shouldn't say holdbacks because I didn't produce them. Two more animals that I'm going to have as grow ups. You know, um, amazing, awesome looking, super happy. They're going to go, you know, two more count, clown, uh, you know, animals in my clown project for the future. Love clown stuff. Um, you know, can't go wrong with every, anything like that. Um, and, and not only that, just having them in my racks, taking pictures of them on Instagram. Um, stunning. I'm going to, you know, be posting them up different size, uh, at different ages and, 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 you know, after fresh sheds. This thing looks amazing now. I don't even know when it was last, sh when it last shed. But when this thing sheds, I, I bet you it's even going to be more nuts. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, another day or two. Um, I think I have another two or three clutches to cut. Hopefully some of those other ones um, have shed, you know, because I know uh, yesterday's video or the video that I, I posted, I, I did it yesterday, but I posted it this morning. I know that uh, when I checked and got back from the airport, uh, we came immediately here and I had half of them like almost shed, like half the clutch. So I only did the one with the lightning, but you know, everybody's uh, comments and, and just a stunning animal. So that's coming. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, keep the comments coming. Thank you guys for your love and support. A uh, little bit of a different video, but, uh, you know, a little bit of, of everything, but 99 clutches. I think that's what I'm going to name the title of this video. 99 clutches and uh, unboxing. But 99 clutches, that's going to be the big thing. And then, you know, in small print and unboxing. You know, mostly it's always unboxing, unboxing, snakes. I mean, you know what? I'm more excited about 99 clutches. So thanks, guys. Yes, I'm hyper. I'm excited. It's a little warm in here. I got to turn the uh, air movers on. I turned them off so that you guys can hear me. But you guys could probably hear me over that because I talk so loud and much. But thanks, guys. Love you.